You are tuning in to the Cigar Guys podcast, where aficionados and newcomers alike gather to explore the vast cigar universe. Meet your host, Alexander Gonzalez, Mark Nikolai, his big little brother, Zachary Nikolai, and Jared Burroughs. So, sit back, light up, and let's get the conversation started. All right, guys. Welcome to the Cigar Guys. Thank you guys for tuning. Sorry. <laughs> Podcast. You know who we are. You know why we're here. We're smoking cigars. Check out this thing that Zach made. All right. It's red, right? This is a red cigar, like, rest <laughs> holder. Boom. And now it's not. Boom, now it's red. Yo, you know how we like that two-tone in here. You know, I got that green and gold. Jared just got gold. Uh, I, red and I, I black. I have stainless steel and gold, but... Oh, yeah, look at this. Oh, no, let's put it back. Yeah, look at that. That is sick. That is an ashtray. It is an go. ashtray. Look it. at that. Black. Boom, red. Black. Red. That's pretty crazy. What else is black and red? Albanian flag. That's actually insane. What are you smoking? Yeah, I printed out all this, you know, stuff I needed to smoke an Albanian cigar, so I'm smoking the Besa cigar. Did you 3D print that as well? I did. I'm uh, experimenting uh, with a cigar printer currently. Um, great success. Great success. That's all I got to say. Jared, where are you smoking? I'm actually smoking the base of cigar. What do you say like that? Oh, I, 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 didn't, know, I, was, I didn't know it was my turn. I was like lighting it up. <laughs> it's only like you're like saying something new. I'm smoking the uh, League of Fat Bastards Series L. Now, this is a cool cigar. It's, uh, let's see what it says. <laughs> <laughs> Mark didn't prepare for this podcast as he does for none of them. All right. It helps spread. This is great. I'm going to take over. Go ahead. <laughs> it helps. It helps spread <laughs> mental <laughs> men's mental health. Are you, are you okay? <laughs> no. are you, what's wrong? I do got, got a lot of stuff. I got to study. <laughs> this is a process. <laughs> How would you say your um, mental health is? <laughs> Declining. <laughs> Well, rapidly. <laughs> I have some news for you. This cigar you're smoking, League of Fat Bastards, they actually donate 40% of their profits to help men's mental, men, men's mental health awareness, um, you know, and stuff like that. Men's so. stole health. Men's stole health awareness. Men's stole health awareness. There we go. 40% is a lot, though. That is a lot. Yeah, yeah, for real. That's like all your profit margins. Well, it's 40% of your profit margins. Oh, uh, Forty percent of the profit. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Goes to it. Gotcha. Mm. So that's pretty good four. though. That's pretty good. Yeah. I wonder if that's thirty dollars of the profit of the cigar or the company total. Thirty dollars or forty percent. Well, if they're selling only cigars, then technically it's both. Because if they have one product, then that answers your question. That's true. Unless there's a salary. <laughs> what? But it wouldn't be profit then. Oh, Drew. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Thank you, Zach. You got you got an exam or something coming up? Yeah, that's what it is. I got like three. <laughs> Been there before. I remember. I remember my days of being not here. It's always got to be one Nikolai that's like deep in the trenches of state university or college. In this case, state university is a college. You've been hanging out in England too much. You know, anytime I go to Europe, they're like, you know, it's like, oh, what do you do? You know, back when I was still in school, I'm like, oh, I'm in university right now. Because if you say you're in college, they they think dumb. they think you're like in, high, in school. high school. Yeah, I feel like my voice is my voice good. Uh, I don't know why I feel like it's low. Maybe my just microphones low or headphones. But uh, but yeah, so I'm like, oh, I'm in university because <laughs> they don't. That's what they call it. Like, uh, I mean, technically, you know, UCF, I guess. I'm in Cigar University. And new class 
coming to Cigar University. It's um, men's mental health. Led by uh, Adam Levine, who is the... From Rune 5? Not that yeah, one. That's what I was thinking when I saw the name. I think it's a different one. It could be the same guy. I don't know. Imagine if it was. <laughs> that would be crazy. <laughs> that would be insane. But he's going to be in charge of teaching this class to deal with mental health at Cigar University. Dot com. Do we own that domain? Yes. <clears throat> we do? I- I'm. We do. Don't bother checking. <clears throat> Yeah. Exactly. If it has cigar in it, we probably own it. Now that is actually true. Oh no, his Instagram specifically says proud founder of League of Fat Bastard Cigars, not the singer. <laughs> <laughs> but does he sing? He probably gets that so much. Yeah. See, I would have put maybe the singer. Who knows? Who knows? All I know about the cigar is that it's an Ecuadorian wrapper. So what does that QR code send you to? I don't know. You tell me. It's probably their website. Have you never scanned it? No, I've never scanned it. Let's do it live. They have a QR code on the band, which is the... F- not, not true. This is the second time For I've seen For enhanced that. results, this page requires access to your GPS position. That's, uh, uh, that's I'm concerning. I'm declining that. Sorry, but... Yeah, QR uh, code on the band. No, don't turn my page. That's weird. Why would they want that? That's pretty weird. I don't know. Go to the site and find out. Oh, it's literally just their website. But yeah, why uh, do they want my GPS? So they can send a mental health expert directly to your house. It's probably for uh, tracking purposes. Well, I would have never guessed that that's why they wanted GPS. So they have one blend, the Series L. Churchill, Toro, and Robusto size. So far. Apparently, they're coming out with a new one. That's why I'm not smoking point. it right now. I don't never take any L's. I take a series of L's. On the daily. Mark taking L's today, though, big time. But he's smoking the cigar now. So his mental health is now increasing. He's getting happier. He's, he's the brain fog is going away. He's just texting the whole time on the podcast. Yeah, I think he's just addicted to his phone. That's the issue. No, I'm, I'm looking at their uh, Instagram. Mark, you don't got to text us that you're looking at their Instagram. We're right I here, bro. <laughs> bro, no, you didn't. You literally texted us that. No, no, I'm just looking at their a bunch of cool stuff. <laughs> bro just showed us like a video. All right, Mark loves you guys already. It's been like five minutes into the cigar and Mark's it's probably my favorite cigar now. It's cigar. pretty good. I love the name, actually. I like the name too. Do you resonate with the name? It's easy to like refer to you know <laughs> the cigar <clears throat> without getting in trouble. You know, mm, like hey, you're a fat bastard. No, it's talking about the cigar. Exactly. You know, someone walks in. Do you want another fat bastard? See, if you did that, Jared, you would be diminishing someone's mental health. It's kind of fucked up. No, I think it's a great cigar. I love the name. I think people get a good laugh out of it. And it has good flavor. It's, it's, yeah, it's good. It's got a good flavor. It's got a good draw. Construction seems good so far. Um, I'm not sure what the blend is. I think they are being elusive with the blend. So I'm not so sure. Maybe one day Adam will tell us. Maybe he'll is. sing it to us. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> maybe we can sing for him and he can choose who the winner is going to be mm. you know he's on the voice we got the series L cigar blended with Habano no Sumatra See, but the binder is Ecuadorian alright we're clipping that for sure the rapper's Ecuadorian damn I, oh, I thought the rapper was Albanian <laughs> A uh, singer. <laughs> Rapping is still but, singing. Uh, but I'm not a rapper. We still that, need That's it. funny. I just got that. We still need our own, you know, theme song. So we please, do need. A please theme be song. open to it. Oh, okay. You want me to rap it or sing it? <clears throat> rap is like I feel like the rapping <laughs> is cheesy now. Like it's got to be like a genuinely good song. 
Yeah, but I'm not a rapper. Okay, so then sing it. I got the cigar. I'm a guy. They call me the cigar guy. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not a rapper. I wonder who's going to understand that reference. <laughs> Leave a comment below if you understand that reference. I feel like, I feel like it's not too elusive. Glasses, jacket, shirt. <laughs> they call me glasses, jacket, shirt. <gasps> Yo, all I'm saying is that, that dude, he beat Snoop Dogg in a rap battle, I'm pretty sure. According to your opinion. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure you actually had like a... Yeah, I think you had Snoop Dogg on there. Yeah, Snoop Dogg <laughs> and like, you know, they did a rap battle. <laughs> no, I'm saying your opinion is that you beat him. Or that I beat him? Or that he beat him. No, that he beat him. Yeah, that he beat yeah, him. Yeah. You did not beat him. Whoa. That Whoa. I know for a fact. I just... I just came up with the cigar guy's rap on it was like five words. the podcast. Okay. I just thought about what time zone is this uh, person in? Supposedly Australia. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> if the information is correct, it's Australia, which means if it's six something now, it's like 7 a.m. there. 7 or 8 a.m. But isn't it opposite because they're on the lower? So it, you got to flip it. So they're like, and then add two hours. They're like, how how many hours are they ahead? <laughs> fourteen. Yeah, it's eight fourteen hours. There. So they're yeah. fourteen hours. It's what? Eight twenty two a.m. Okay, yeah. See, yeah, see, they're fourteen hours ahead. So fourteen, but then you flip it. So then it's opposite. So it's eight a.m. You know what I'm saying? That's what I said. No, 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 no you didn't. Um. So maybe anyway. this whole time, instead of fighting with Mark all day long, we gotta ask him how to fix the uh, little time issue. You think it's hard for him to smoke cigars upside down? <laughs> <laughs> so does the smoke go down for him? That's a good question. That's a good question. From for his perspective, does Jesus rise from him or does he fall? But if he's omnipresent, then technically he can do. Facts. At the same time, he falls for him to rise for us. Oof. I'm spinning bars right now. Dude. You are spinning bars right now. This is pretty You're, crazy. You just said you don't rap. I, I'm but pretty I'm not sure we need some music. He's just really I'm, humble. I'm not a rapper. Not yet. We will publish your ass on Spotify. Uh, uh, smoking a cigar and bleep. <laughs> 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 Can't be getting doxxed out here, you know. <laughs> oh, Brad. <laughs> Located in. That, that would have rhymed if, you know. If, if it wasn't it, beeped. Yeah, if it wasn't beeped. That would, it would have been impressive if you rhymed a word with the beep. In the United States. Beep. Sorry. The, <laughs> the mistimed it. Anyway. Because I'm a bleep your bleep. <laughs> <laughs> update let me think about this for a second boom boom just kidding we just did a uh bunch oh of base uh, cut and lights that's how i'm thinking organizing i don't have a calendar in front of me so i have to like picture it in my head. what the hell did we just witness <laughs> like, like mac 27 93 oh, okay 93 so, there's not 93 days in a month there is in three months <laughs> yeah so when they reached out to us it was like 1 or 2 a.m. in the morning so mm. it's probably a time zone issue pull up your calendar so I can look at it me? what the cigar guy's calendar? no just a calendar oh. a physical and or digital calendar what, what did he say at 1 a.m.? <laughs> you up? <laughs> you no know, they reached out to us I think it's just a time zone issue. So last week we did a cut and light, basic cut and light at Cigars on the Ave, paired with Forward Slash, Tequila, and Whiskey, I believe it was. And then yesterday we did a basic cut and light at Hefe Cigars in New Smyrna, Beach, Florida. So go check those guys out if you're in the area. And you'll see us there for future events. But the events are always great. They're always fun. And then we have uh, a couple things coming up. Today we're actually going to Cars and Coffee. 
or today, this morning, earlier today, we went to Cars and Cigars at Blend and Barrel in Sanford, Florida, which they're doing once a quarter, featuring Basil Cigar. So be sure to come to the next one. And I think that's all the updates that we have on what we've been doing. Did you mention Saturday? Yeah. Are today is Friday? Saturday. What's oh. Friday? Which Friday? I mentioned two Fridays. Yep, coming Keep one. up. Okay. You mean the one that just passed? No. <laughs> we have to speak Jared, Jared in the so future. Confused. We have to tap into the timeline. <laughs> Jared is so confused. Huh? I was actually reading the calendar. That's what I was like. Doctor sure Strange. Yeah, today, future. Saturday, Jared came out of the closet. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. It happened for real. Hey, men's mental health. As long as he's confident in his skin. <laughs> what? In someone else's skin. Okay. Anyway. Uh, so yeah that's my spiel i just came back from indianapolis you did a few weeks ago did a few weeks ago that's like that's recent for me what'd you do in indianapolis i went to the rocky patel cigar bar over there okay shout out to my man josh he hooked it up he's a manager over there make sure you go see him ask him what kind of cigars uh he likes he'll definitely point you in the right direction um but it's a beautiful place. Gets lively at night. They got a DJ. Upstairs VIP area. Where which, was the invite? Which he was uh he was kind enough to uh show me around up there. Um You wanna You know I just thought too? I, I invited you. I definitely invited you. Not to Indianapolis. I did. He when did. I when I got there, I'm like, come through. Come, uh, come through, he brother. I was there for like nine days. So you could have picked any of those nine days to go. That is true. I just want to show up at his door and be like, hey. I also went to a non-Darden owned Ruth's Chris. Really? Yeah. Oh, they just happens to have the same name or how's it, that work? Same name, majority of the same menu, but all their apps were different. Uh, their sides were different. Desserts were different. Is there Ruth Chris in that state? That's they had. Why. What? Is there Ruth Chris in that state? That's why the name probably isn't uh, conflicting. Oh, I don't know. I mean, they're they're well, it's they're Ruth. a legal franchise. It's Ruth's Chris. It's yeah, same, same brand. Yeah, brand. Oh, it's a franchise. Not it's a franchise. By. Yeah, huh? That's yeah. so weird. They're the only franchise, I guess, not owned by Dard or not like corporate. No, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's that's it's so a, it's scary. a company, but any, it, the food was outstanding. I mean, would you say better, dude? Oh. They're appetizers. I mean, I only got I only got two things over there i got creme brulee which they got one here but and then i got their uh uh they have a asabuco ravioli as an Damn. appetizer and that uh, over a bed of spinach so good you know what i did just realize if he is in fact in australia today right now is the 13th for him so there might have been a confusion yeah and he was like oh the 12th is yesterday they did stream but today for us is the 12th at 6 p.m oh eastern time the real time zone so he got confused and probably missed it thinking today's the 13th next time we'll just use which it is the calendar for him i, I was gonna say did you, uh, it's not a calendar it's, oh calendar. okay it, it should be like a google calendar this way it automatically uh updates for them yeah for them what should be a google calendar the like a google invite like an invent uh yeah event hmm this way, you know, there's no confusion. True. But at the same time, it's 8 a.m. And they can say no and change it for us. True. I'm, I'm just trying to figure we, it out. We're a year I, and a half I, in and we're still learning. It's not a bad thing. No. Yeah. <clears throat> well, this is the first we time did we've done right. it, like, across state. True. If you're not learning, you're slacking. Yeah. And yeah. then you'll end up like Mark before an exam. You're just camping. Yeah. Just camping. Just camping. Jared hates camping. And campers. Jared hates campers. Go check out Jared S. Burroughs on Twitch, by the way. Great stuff. I have to comb through some of those videos real fast, but... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, me and Jared, uh, we play on Twitch together. You'll hear me chime in every once in a while. you hear Jared checking in on me. He'll be like, are you, you good? I'll be like, yeah. But sometimes like, I'm running around the map. I'll see, like, you know... It's because I just got 3D printers, so half the time I'm like... Fuck, let me print something real quick while I'm playing. And then, like, I'm just standing at the corner, and Jared's like, 
Should, I, should I protect him? Should I move? It's happening. Yeah. And then, then, but then, you know, Jared drinks too much. Then he gets angry at me, and he's like, "Is he camping? Is he camping right now?" Jared <laughs> hates campers. Yeah. And, and then he I kills know. me, and he's like, "Oh, I'm sorry." Well, oh, D- yeah. Didn't see you there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just ran in front of my bullet. We kill each other all the time on accident. On accident. <laughs> Jared says, "What do, he what do can't you guys play?" Call Duty. Call Duty Five. Yeah, but like uh, five. <laughs> Wait. Modern Warfare Three. Yeah, he didn't say anything though. Uh, Black Ops hardcore. Six, though. I know. Oh, you play hardcore? Yeah. Black Ops Six is gonna be insane. Yeah. I might have to get back in the game, come out of retirement. Facts. I hope they have a. Uh, uh, was it one, one shot something? Hardcore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No. One shot, one kill. Yeah, I think that's what it's called. Yeah. Where you, you only get one bullet. Oh. Yeah, oh, oh you get yeah, a gun yeah. and you get one bullet and there's rounds and then. But you have one, you have a gun, but then your secondary is just fists. So me and Adam oh, yeah, used to yeah. play all the time. You know, we'd be like fist bump, and we hit each other, and then we'd like go and attack them. So by the time we get to the last, you know, gun, we have like five bullets because they stack up when you melee someone. Yeah, the, the, the best us. part about that is um, the pre lobby because you could talk to each other. Mm-hmm. So just talking crap to each other is like the best part. Hey, and, 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 be, and between rounds, you could talk to each other too. Yeah, when yeah. it's loading, so you're like, "Oh, you're trash, bro." <laughs> I, I convinced him one time to go on um, fist only one round, and I shot him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. We'd be like fist only, fist only, fist only. <laughs> That's you, terrible. You only get like five seconds. Do you have a PlayStation or Xbox? I have an Xbox. Okay, so you still play? I still play, or I still can play. I hope you play, but I don't think you do. We I can't haven't played play. Call of Duty in years. All right. But me, it's like riding a bike. Me too, brother. You're still screwed. Yeah, I jump, I jump right back in. You're screwed when I come on. That'd be a huge Dude, update what? to install. Pause. What? It, this, the game's like 300 gigs. Yeah, yeah, it's huge. It's ridiculous. I don't know if I have enough storage. I might have to buy a new console. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's all intentional. I had to delete a game. I don't yeah. know like, if mine has 300 gigs total. It's not I honestly just don't know. Just don't install the uh, single player mode. <clears throat> You'll be fine. Can yeah. I install parts of it? Yeah. Well, I'm going to install a single player, do it, and then delete it, and then I'll install multiplayer, and maybe zombies. You got to play single player. I admit I have not beaten single player on Call of Duty. Yeah. What any Call of Duty? No, just Modern Warfare Three. Uh, I, I start well, to play single the, player. Well, new ones suck anyway. So I, I start to play single player, and then Jared got on, and then I went to multiplayer. <laughs> Have you guys one v one each other yet? No, he doesn't want to lose. We can go anytime. <laughs> we should do it on the. What, what's you, your... you could stream on the Cigar Guys, and he could stream on Jared Burrows. Yeah. What's your uh, KD? I had that high. I play hardcore all the time, so you, you jump in, and get. You get killed twenty times. Yeah, you get forty kills. Then the time it flips. I forgot which one I was, but um, which one had like the hatchet? You could switch to. Oh, they, I mean, they all do. I'm pretty sure. I think it was Black Ops, though. I think it was Black Ops. Black Ops 2. always had Black uh Black Ops One, maybe Black Ops Two. I know Black Ops One for sure had one. I think it was Black Ops Two. I had a diamond shovel. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Get, yeah. 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 Now they have like actual like katanas that you could do and you can get, like gold platinum police batons <clears throat> you know police brutality batons oh sorry yeah i think i played um what's the one where like there's like three flags and you have to like capture them capture, capture the, the flag. flag is it capture the flag no it's no, domination, it's domination. <laughs> no, okay. i used to play domination on hardcore and i used to bring out the shovel yeah so when there was like a bunch of guys i would run around and sah, sah, the sah. maps the maps are like so big now though so it's like hard to do that oh really yeah i mean even the small maps i feel like got bigger like it's weird like rust yeah. it's you know was a really small map now i feel like it's like they made it a little bit bigger mm. so it's harder to like run around but I do miss Black Ops because I think Black Ops was the ones that had like Nuketown and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Black yeah, Black Ops one, Black Ops two. I think they did bring it back in back in Black Ops three as well. Yeah. It's just, it's a Black Ops staple. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like Black Ops maps better. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. So what's gonna happen in October? We're gonna all switch over to Black Ops six? Yeah. Cause True. 'cause they're bringing they're bringing back like the more traditional stuff. 
Oh, dude. Did you see that, like, all around movement thing that they're doing? Like, you could sprint backwards and sideways. I did see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now the PC guys don't have an advantage. Facts. It's going to be fun. I did go to this place in Indianapolis called uh, St. Elmo's. They're, like, well known, I guess. From 1903, they've been open. I didn't know Elmo was a saint. It is an indie. <laughs> but they have, they're like known for their shrimp cocktail. And like, they use fresh ground horseradish. So the guy warned me, he's like, he's like, have you ever had this? I'm like, no. And he's like, okay, it's going to be really spicy, but it goes away right away. I'm like, oh, that's fine. I can handle spice. He's like, all right. I take a bite and like, my nostrils just opened up. I started tearing up. Was this like, like downtown Sanford when we went to the barbecue tent? Or the hot sauce? No, no, because it, uh, that, it was that's a different kind of spice. I yeah, like. this is like it hurts spice versus like I don't know. It was it, it's just completely different. So was it worse or just it went away in like two seconds? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it was not worse. No, no. But Zach and I, it was pretty good though. Had to raid the coffee shop and ask for, for milk. milk. <laughs> and he was like, "What? Like, give us milk right now, preferably raw milk." But he didn't have raw milk. I'll pay for it. I'll pay for it. I just need milk. Yeah, but they had a Wagyu slider I tried. Fantastic. Then I got their filet, you know, and they had these potatoes. Their food is really good. I guess they own the farm that the beef, like, comes in from. And that's where all the money is. One of the one of the regulars over there asked the manager, he's like, when are you going to buy this place out? He's like, I don't want this place. I want the farm. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, oh, okay, there you go. But they have an upstairs like 1933 lounge, which is like a speakeasy, prohibition speakeasy. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Did you go up there? I did. That was like my regular hangout. I hope you were uh, vlogging this whole time. I didn't. I did not. He had nine full days to do something productive. It's and almost as if we all have to go back and free film everything you just Everything did. that happened. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Every we'll just follow time. Zach as his camera crew and he can reenact everything he did. Yeah. Well, it, not everything, but. Did you return that? Uh, <laughs> did you return that? Uh, Cigar camera? I just did. Today before I came here. Are you gonna look for a new camera? Or yeah, it's in the works. I think we've come to the conclusion. Mm, I which, think we have. Which one? That three sixty one? <laughs> no, no, we're not yeah. gonna do that. That's 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 ridiculous. I would never do that. Why? Why? Because I'm gonna be the one editing it. Yeah, but you could just tell it like you only want this frame. Yeah, that would be cool to have Scar Guys VR. We're actually, it's like you're filming, like people are actually sitting with us as we're smoking. Yeah. See, now we're back up in the air again. I don't know. I'm confused. Should we get that But one? the panel no, came, it's a lot of data. One. Yeah, yeah. yeah it takes a long true, yeah. time. I'm not editing it, so what do I care? <laughs> <laughs> we're probably going to get the, the same one, but the upgrade. Why is the upgrade one better? It's, so, it's better in every way. Which way? Left, right, up, down. Always. Wow. Hmm. It's got a better low light, better microphone situation, better mm. everything. Does it have a better camera? Better camera. Oh, okay. Right. Slightly. You know, can, can cameras really get that much better? Yes. Theoretically. Theoretically. I mean, I think the iPhone camera is still better than the DJI 2, right? There's the, the graininess. Sure, yeah. yeah. If you look at all the videos iPhone versus 3, it's very, very close. The 3 might be a little better. Just you know, you know bit. what's crazy about camera? So, um, the product I sell has a 360 panel cam on it, right? But it's only an 8 megapixel camera. So, when I was on the thing, I was like, why don't we put a... Why don't you guys put a better camera on this? Like, it's only 8 megapixels? They're like, well, we're upgrading it to the 20 megapixel camera. I'm like, dude, my iPhone's got better than that. I was like, you tell me that we can't get a better camera on this thing? Well, it's not just about megapixels, because like, Samsung devices have like 120 megapixels. Yeah, they suck. Not necessarily. Yeah, like, but this is like a this is like a 50 grand product, and you guys they're like putting like a yeah, but are you eight like megapixel three, camera like, on it. You know what I'm saying? Are you yeah, talking yeah. about the pictures you post on LinkedIn? No, no. I'm talking about the product I sell. It has a panel cam on it. It's not really a panel. It's like it's yeah, it's a panel cam, but it's only got eight megapixels. Yeah, but is this that one 3D photo you took or posted on LinkedIn one time? No, from that camera. Oh, uh, that was from a scan. So that's why. Did is. you it's think that was a real photo? No, no, it's probably post-processing, right? So you probably don't need like the most megapixels. 
Yeah, but they advertise it as like, oh, you could go back and look at like take the panel cams from it. Okay. Hmm. Does that make sense? I guess so. No. Just say yes. Yes. So like one of the one of the things is like that's like cool about it, I guess, is that like you could go back in and just look just look at the panel cam if you want. Oh nice. He repeated himself, so now we understand. But the 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 thing is that the panel cam only has like eight megapixels, so it's like you're not mm. you're getting terrible image eight. quality. That's where I was confused. Could you bring one on the podcast? No. <laughs> <laughs> Can we bring the podcast to it? No. Could we fill a vlog with it? N- no. Yeah, test it out somehow. <laughs> Can we look up a video on YouTube and then Photoshop us in the video? If you really want to go through all that work. Apparently, it's so hard to take a video of it in real life. <laughs> He's acting like Zach over here. Top secret security clearance. Nah, I can't tell you. I just don't tell anyone anything. You didn't even know I was going to be here today. Just hope and pray. And sometimes you do come. Pause. Hey, yo. Pause. Pause. But yeah. What else has been going on? This is our first podcast with all four of us in the studio in like two months. Yeah. This one's also very impromptu. Old school. Old school. Some of our best episodes were impromptu. I will say. But yeah. We've we been should, on the We road. should guess the answers to these questions and then match it up for when we actually do a podcast with them. Alright, so you asked me one. Can you share the story behind the name The League of Fat Bastards? Next question. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can answer that one. Alright, go ahead. So The League of Fat Bastards was made because... No, I'm not even going to say it. <laughs> anyway. How do you pronounce that? Z Z in Zoom in. What? Z I E. Uh, I don't know. We got a new humidor. We got a new setup. Actually, you may have noticed this last week. Something switched around. Stuff's moving around. You can't see it, but we got a giant humidor. You can go look at the, the video. Uh, Mid update, mid year, twenty twenty four. Setup reveal. Oh, we should. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that'd be good. We should do that. Great idea, Jared. You need more of these. I just gotta remember to write them down. <clears throat> yeah, you and Mark. Mark needs to write down every idea that comes to mind, and then we'll cycle through them. We'll sort them. There's a lot. <laughs> yeah, but like ten out of a hundred are like solid ideas that we can't lose. That's true. That's true. Yeah. One of them is that Zach should 3D print us a new table. I could do it. <laughs> I'll do it. Would you just have to print all the parts and then we can put them together? All the pieces like Lego bricks. Dude, that's that sick. That would be cool. Can, the, can, it, can you print a giant Lego table? That would be sick. So the table literally has Legally? Like, <laughs> okay, sorry. Uh, toy brick table. Probably. I wonder if it, is it cheaper to print your own Legos or to buy Legos? Probably buy. Does that answer your question? Yeah. <laughs> Next question. How much does that cost? $20. Mm. <laughs> you paid $20 for that 3D printer? No, for the filament. Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry, you, know, you, know, you know, this isn't even actually 3D printed. What I did was I just took the filament and I melted it individual layers myself. So I am the 3D printer. You should buy that 3D printing pen next, you know? <laughs> Why? <laughs> I, I have a whole printer. You just said. <laughs> when you record yourself 3D printing, is it just live streaming or recording? Because it'd be nice to have like a vlog about that too, where we fast forward it, you know? Well, yeah. you know the video you sent was fast forwarded. Yeah, it, it does automatic uh, time. If that was live, I would be <laughs> impressed. You should, you should just do a TikTok uh, where you're just like, 3D printing stuff. 3D printing while and playing it's, COD? It's always live. Yeah. 
<laughs> Actually, you could. You could live stream both. I think we talked about this. I could yeah. write a program that actually takes the top comments and have it print that. You should do that. If you could find like the G code for it. You're going to print the comment. So like if someone says, you know, oh, print, you know. Uh, oh, uh, oh, oh, gotcha, gotcha. Print a cigar holder, you know, and then a lot of people like that. You know, if it gets enough cigar holder comments, you could have it print something. I already see one major issue with this. I know. Well, you can filter, <laughs> you can filter out keywords. <laughs> it's a lot of keywords. There was a there was one guy that would, that would like just post up like a video of like him 3D printing stuff, and one of them he 3D printed a croc with like the rock in the front. <laughs> oh, uh, rock a croc a croc crocker rockadile. That's what it's called. Yeah, a you know what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, what what croc? What are you talking about? Yeah, it was a rockadile. Same thing. You could a get a rock a rockapus. Yeah. <laughs> It's an octopus with the rock's head on it. Mm -hmm. That's actually funny. I imagine there's a different filament, right? To make it like more bendable. What? Like printing out the croc? Like to make it actually like wearable? Like oh, oh, yeah. There's different filaments. Yeah, because it was like rubber, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's different filaments he could do. <laughs> you should print um, cigar shoes. <laughs> shoes? Like crocs. My feet, are, oh. my feet are too big. Is that what you're talking about? Crocs the shoes? What? Or like an alligator? No, I think it's actually talking about Crocs. No, no, it was like Crocs, like a shoe. Okay. See, or like the sandal or whatever you want to call it. I didn't want to assume. <laughs> Good. A, ro a rock, <laughs> rock croc. So now I'm actually more confused. So it's Crocs the shoes. Yeah. With Rock's face on it? Yeah. He, okay, so I got a Croc right here. So Look at that. It printed out like right, like, like right here. Oh, okay, okay, gotcha. So, I usually put a big Mercedes logo on the front of my Crocs. Be hilarious. Well, like, <laughs> like the June Mercedes logo or like the other Mercedes logo? The, the normal one. Okay. <laughs> you should print out the Audi, like Audi symbol. I was like a necklace. I thought about printing out the Audi. <laughs> I'm aware that I'm aware that's a work because I always wear my Audi hat at work. You should look for an Albanian Eagle cigar cutter. I was at a, a what's it called? Um, I could design it. What are those things called where there's like tents all around? People sell like food products and stuff. A farmer's market. I was at a farmer's market thing. <laughs> and uh, this guy was selling like printed like dragons. Like 3D printed dragons. I'm like, who's going to buy this? <laughs> you know? Interesting. Hmm. Did people buy it? I didn't see anybody in this booth. He just wasn't marketing it, right? And what are you going to do with this? Like, useless. This is like a table topper. That's why I found out about a 3D printer. Do the dragon thing? You just print stuff that you could do nothing with. Well, I mean, you have an ashtray. You have a... Can we use that? No, ashtray. It's not recommended. Because it's like plastic. Can you There's got to be a coating. Well, this is a low grade plastic. You could do higher grade plastics. Mm. Uh, they like, would still melt, though, right? Like they could melt. If if like if you're actively like if Mark goes, burning it, yeah. But like like if you use ABS, it, right? ABS melts at a higher point. And then there's plus there's carbon fiber plastics that you could do. There's, you know, like the nozzle tip, like this prints at 220 degrees Celsius, but then like ABS will print hotter than that. Are you going to do anything with that, or can I leave it, like... Oh, you can leave it. I don't care. Nice. So how many hours... I'll that trade take? you. I'll trade you. How many hours does that take to print, and how many, like, how many spools do you use? This is two hours, and it barely took, like, one row of the spool. Mm. So how much is a spool? 20 bucks. So that didn't cost you $20. No, it did not. You should, you should print that. But it you... cost you $20. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you should print that. We give it away at, like, cigar events. But, like, make the notches a little bigger. Yeah, I know. I was I was going to. I actually measured it online, and I was going to cut this out more, but it's a practice one. I, I, yeah, it was a practice yeah. one. He also needs to use higher grade material. Yeah. Well, what if you just make it a little thicker? It's still it just still would melt. Yeah, true. There's got to be some sort of coating you could put on it that like adds a layer of protection. You can put aer aerogel. Jersey coater. Can you print me out uh, Rolex? <laughs> yeah. Like replace all my jewelry. 
and then just up. coat it. With plastic. <laughs> just coat it though. You never know. It'd be, it'd be so hard to move. Like the chain, everything be stuck. I mean, unless he prints yeah. out every little link. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> he prints every individual. Jared, only like, the best for gear. you. Do you think I wouldn't print out every link? <laughs> it may be pretty fast, but I feel like once I, you pick it up, it might break. We could try it out. If you want to. <laughs> what do you think my watch is made of? You should do a hat next. <laughs> yeah. Cigar guy's hat. Then you can just put like some That's sort of wool inside. That's going to pull up a 3D printed everything. <laughs> 3D printed shirt. Just like <laughs> stiff You could stupid. 3D print your car too. I did. I, I, I tried looking at improvements that I could do for my car, but it's like my car's already perfect. No, 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 no. The car itself. Oh, the car? The whole car? Yeah. Like that guy 3D printed a Lambo. Good. Can you 3D print another 3D printer? Yeah, you could. Unlimited 3D printers? Yeah. We can each have one. Yeah. That, that's what some people do. They'll buy like a cheap 3D printer and then they'll just print out more parts to make another 3D printer. They that's just, genius. You just gotta buy like the uh, the metal components. Can't print those either. No, because they gotta be precise. Print the software. What? Uh, you heard me. I, I could blackmail Jared into writing me software for <laughs> with a 3D printed gun. <laughs> like, could you like 3D print these stands? Just like every episode, we would play something. <laughs> oh yeah, that's what. We're, yeah, you know what? That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna. It's gonna all be like this. It's gonna look like yeah. Joe Rogan's podcast when he had that like red shit all over the place. <laughs> we got. We got to. We got to. Anything from the set could be three D printed, and you guys got to put in the comments. Could you three D print our logo? Yeah, I'm working on that next. Oh, you could do it, and then you could put it on that circle thing. Like you just like oh, glue yeah, it on yeah, there. yeah, yeah, you're right, yeah. Can you have different like colors? Yeah. You just need to buy every spool with a different color? Yeah. Do you have to swap them out manually? Yeah. Damn, okay. So like it's all layers. this is two different spools, or is it like No, so this is one, one spool, it's but it's a special spool. It's like a black and red special. holographic. Mm. Okay. I like it, I think it's cool. I think the, we should do the mic stands for sure. Yeah. Alright, go fund me. We're raising money. For the materials to make, they're raising money everything. to pay me to three D print stuff. Yeah, I mean, wh- how, how much is it? Like probably like forty dollars worth of material. What for to print one? this stand? All of them? No, well, he said less. this barely used it. Yeah, barely. So he could probably you could probably do at least all of these with one. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot in the spool. They'd be lightweight too. So next time our luggage will be <laughs> it will be <laughs> seventy pounds. <laughs> we got no fee though. No fee. Delta status. You never get a fee. Delta status. Jared, what do you know about that? Uh, Nothing. I was on the plane with you. I don't know. You Why? Were on the plane. Why, though? You were on the plane, but you weren't with us. Why was that? Because you didn't book a seat next to us. I know. <clears throat> My bad. I was trying to get some sleep on the plane. You know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not us. We never sleep. <laughs> Did you notice the Chase Sapphire Reserve um, automatically puts that three hundred dollar credit on? Like if people go to auto, it, just automatically does it. Yeah. Mine usually goes to food though. <laughs> <laughs> does it go towards food? Uh, yeah, like hotel travel. Yeah. Like that flights. True. Where are we going next? Well, I guess we missed uh, Indianapolis. So, uh, <laughs> Tennessee. At least we can drive this time. Why? So we don't fly. We literally need to take the uh, light rail. Jared's down. scared of heights, so why would we willingly put him through that again? We gotta take that light True. rail down all the way to Miami and do a Miami trip. He's not scared of heights. He's scared that the heights are scared of him. That's what it is. <laughs> He's considerate of the heights. Yeah. But two, it'd be cheaper. You know? Maybe. Probably it would be. Especially four of us. 
instead of four plane tickets, it's like four tanks of gas. Yeah, but back to this mental health thing. What? <laughs> what are you scared of long drives? Well, all four of us, yeah. I've done the test already. Three lunatics in one car for an 18 hour drive, and it only started hitting at the 16 hour mark. So we're good. If you want to. 18 hour drive? Add 20%. Where'd you go? Oklahoma. 20%. That's an 18 hour drive. Oh, 18 and a half. Damn. Straight. That's crazy. No stop. Do you guys switch? Yeah. And then, you know, you have these Europeans that complain about a 30 minute drive. I max out at like 11 hours. Then I then I need that's pretty someone good. else. Mark Mark could drive. Yeah, I, I can drive. Yeah, I like driving. I could keep going, but I might drive off a bridge on accident, not intentionally. I would never kill myself. Never. I drove from like twelve a.m. to like was it like nine thirty? Yeah, nine thirty, and I had like no sleep. Yeah. Well, that's Drop. yeah, that's worse because it's overnight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nine hours during the day is okay. I remember um, everyone be like, "Oh, I stay awake with you," and everyone passed out. There. No, it's not me. Awake. Not me. I stayed awake until I turned in my paper, which I talked to my professor. Well, actually, it was teacher was in high school. Uh, talked to my teacher who was leaving our high school this year. Anyway, um, I'm like, "Did you ever read that paper?" He's like, "Oh no." <laughs> I'm like. I stayed up. You know how late I stayed up for that? I would have got the car sick. Shh. I got the bubble glasses, you know. <laughs> so you're looking forward. Oh, did see. you see? That's part of the new iOS update. If you're on your phone in the car and you make like turns and stuff, uh, it has like dots that it puts on there to like show that you're moving this okay, way. That's pretty cool. Yeah, this way you don't get car sick. What? Like, like the reason you get car sick is because you're feeling it, but your eyes are on your phone and it's stationary, right? So what they did was if I'm on my phone and Mark's driving and he makes a left turn, right? You'll see dots on the screen pop up and move like, like you're turning. So then uh, you don't get car sick. I'm going to have to test that out. I think I've never been car sick from being on the phone. I get car sick in Tesla's. That's because of all the freaking, like, electricity running through your... It's like a freaking radioactive box you're sitting Probably. in. Probably. Sometimes, like, if I'm in the backseat, Jared's car, like, I'm like, fuck, I want to get out of here. Well, that and the lack of airflow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Your, your air AC sucks. Air conditioning Tesla suck. But it's all of them. It's not, like, it's not, like, just his car. Every Tesla I've been in, the air conditioning just lacks. Well, they focus on other things, like lightweight and minimalistic well yeah i mean the thing is you're using an electric motor to pump this ac compressor um and you got to be efficient with it you know because you don't want to use all the battery versus like an engine gasoline's pumping this can they uh, should be able to have a setting where you can send more power to the ac and sacrifice your battery life like, if you're driving 30 minutes away, it's no, it's no problem. They just got to put a bigger compressor in there or more fans. I just turned yeah. up next time. It's no big deal. No, even no, if you have a problem, we did. I, I remember the first time we drove in your car on a like, really hot day, and I was sweating. AC all the way turned up. We drove to Z's warehouse that day. I, I was there. I know. I just wanted to make sure you knew which day it was and what we were doing. Anyway, Elon Musk sponsor us. Uh... <laughs> Send us a cyber truck and we'll test that one out. Did, did you see that Elon Musk wasn't going to let his employees use iPhones if they implement AI on the uh, iOS level? Oh, really? Yeah. Is that an option? It's an option, right? I don't you think so. I, I don't know if you could turn it off. They haven't said anything about it. Is it like TensorFlow AI from Google on Android phones? It's, no, it's uh, Apple it's, Intelligence. So they, they have their own AI, but then... Uh, the stuff that's actually like useful and not like gimmicky, like Genmoji, right? Where you can make your own um, emojis. That's not gimmicky, or that is gimmicky. That's that, gimmicky. Okay. So that's like Apple's AI, but then uh, it uses ChatGPT for all the functional mm. stuff. So they actually partnered with OpenAI, as one does. Yeah. 
This entire episode was literally so, just AI generated. So it's now called Open Apple Intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Because I, I don't even have the Hey Siri thing set up on my phone. Like, I, don't, I don't like that stuff. I do. It never works. Really? I, I don't like it. It's never set up. My, mine works randomly. Like if I say, are you serious? Yeah. I was going to say, it only works when you don't want it to. Are you serious? But you want it to work right now. So no, it's not, yeah, not going to work. Siri. Hey Siri. Oh, oh, yeah, you now go. you fucking work, bitch. All right. But you didn't want it to work when you said, hey Siri. You wanted it to work when you said, are you serious? Facts. Okay, Google nerd <laughs> i work as a virtual assistant for apple i didn't ask that's what they're calling him now i do like the new design of it how it's like all around your phone though it's what? like that little oh bubble. yeah instead of the bubble it's like a ring that goes around the outside yeah oh that's pretty cool yeah it's pretty cool yeah when's the update coming out next month uh i don't know to be honest with you I know I, the beta's I, out now so is it yeah I'm pretty sure i usually wait till like the second public beta to get it i don't know but that shot up their stock like eight percent Pretty crazy, which is weird because everyone knew that that was going to happen. Yeah, not everyone. Ninety percent of the public waits till they get on stage and they go. We have reinvented the wheel. Oh, I forgot I have a developer account. Yeah, so I could download the developer beta, but there's always so many bugs with it. But they don't have a public beta yet. Oh, okay. Hmm. Yeah, I'm an Apple developer, officially. By Apple. Did you know that? That's way better than I like, gotta put that on my resume. Android developer. You put the you put the hundred dollars a year in there? I I guess so. I don't know. <laughs> I signed up it's years free. ago. Yeah, yeah, free as a student. Oh, then that's probably why. Yeah. yeah. You're still a student. Yeah. I'm always a student. That's why I always get a student discount. Technically I am a student. I am a graduate student at UCF. Do you still have your student email? Yeah. I'm just always I'm I'm, I'm enrolled, like right now. Oh really? Yeah. I'm just a student in life, so I should always get a student discount wherever I go. But I'm you're also studying. a professor at Scar Guys University. But a professor could be a student. I need to get a new UCF ID because mine expires next year, and this way if I decide not to get my master's, I can still use my student discounts. Exactly. Just gotta, forge one. You got to keep signing up for school. <laughs> Never take any It's not like they're going to actually check. Just like 3D print one. They check. Hey. Who's they? I don't know. If you if you ask for a student discount, they usually check. Mine expired. That like they look at the ID usually. Do you, did you have a black UCF ID? I don't think so. Or was yours yellow? Uh, I don't remember. Probably white. Probably white. Oh, really? What was yours? Mine's uh uh gold and white. But they used to be black and gold. Mm. Uh. They change them like every ten years or so. This way, you can't keep reusing them, even if. You know. What's the difference between? Well, it's not ten years. Yeah, it has. Well, the like, difference between like, you graduating and him graduating is ten years. But it could have been no, but not ten years old. Actually, fourteen years old. True, I guess that makes 2010. sense. Twenty ten. Yeah. Well, so I'm saying it can't be the same then. Yeah, it probably wouldn't be. Yeah. Liar! Yours was black. <laughs> I can find it when I get home. I guess. <laughs> Make a photocopy so I can use it. Thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of The Cigar Guys. Uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Check out our links on thecigarguys.com. Uh, get our social media links, the base of cigar. Social everything's on there. I don't know about all that. Uh, make sure to check out our drawing room episode at the London House in Dr. Phillips. Uh, it's a great spot over there. If you're interested in a membership, make sure to hit up lauren uh she'll take care of you but yeah thanks guys thank you bye yeah, one. we hope you enjoyed this episode of the cigar guys podcast make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date with all the latest episodes looking for short form content check out all our social media accounts in the description below Mark, uh, tried I to got pull, shit uh, to see and people to do. I mean, Mark tried to pull a Jared and call you know Alex before the podcast, and I should I go home and take a shower first. <laughs> <laughs> well, he said change, so technically he wasn't even going to shower. Oh, that's disgusting. He was just going to change <laughs> <laughs> into different clothes. It's okay. It's okay. Is it? Is it really?
I, I, I showered in uh, Alex's bathroom. And put the same clothes on? That's disgusting. Why yeah. do I sound... Do I sound loud? You know what's disgusting? What? Do I sound loud? <laughs> yes, yes you do. The poop I stomped down your drain. That's disgusting. <laughs> that is, in fact, disgusting. I'm <laughs> terrified, actually, to go... What, what, what's that called again? I forgot. We're doing what? It's like a... It's, a, it's like a <laughs> clogging the toilet. Stomping. No, no, clogging the. No, you, you take like, take a dump in your shower and you oh, stomp the it down shower? the stomp it down Poop the drain. Poop diary. There's there's a thing for some comedian said it. I think right. That's where I got it from. Okay, let me go into private mode before I Google this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Urban Dictionary. It is stomping poop down drain. Is this part of the podcast? It is now. It is now. God. Mark is Damn disgusting. <laughs> This is all alleged. I'm <laughs> assuming this happened. <laughs> Waffle stomping. Waffle stomping. That's what it is. <laughs> I'm presuming this happened. <laughs> Based on the evidence that is the first one minute and 30 seconds of this movie or video or podcast. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure it came from like some kind of some comedian. I totally forgot who, though. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. All right, let's go ahead and light up. All right, light up. Yeah, you just looked like short for a second. Yeah, exactly. Can you pass me that? 